this video I'll show you how to um, set up a Cinema 4D project using blueprints. And what you're looking at here is um, a top side and front view of, of a car blueprints that I've placed in the um, you know in the in the viewport and I'll show you how to set this up. So what I started with here is um, I got this off the internet, you know this um, various views of this car. And then in Photoshop, um, I isolated the top, the side, and the front. And then I saved those uh, in a known location, you know, so I have my uh, images. So let me go to Cinema 4D and start brand new here with a new file so I can show you. Okay, so first of all, go to your four view. And let's apply the top um, image first. So what you do is you go into the viewport and uh, click on the options tab. Way down at the bottom, you'll select configure. And then over in the attributes uh, manager, there, there'll be uh, several tabs you know, for the view, viewport attributes. And you'll want to click on the back tab because we're putting something on the back of the view, I guess is how Cinema 4D is interpreting it. So click on the back tab and you have image and you have the little ellipsis dots. Click on that and you will navigate to um, the, you know, where you've stored the images. So it's important to have a project folder set up. So these uh, images are always in the same place. So I'm going to choose, and, and also lo name your images logically. So I'm going to select top click open and lo and behold there it is um, the only thing that well there's a there's some other stuff I'll demo here this offset and size is important stuff right now the uh, be aware that transparency if you um, crank down the transparency like 50% or so typically you're gonna want want a low transparency so you can it just makes it easier to, to work with for this demo, I'm going to keep transparency up at uh, 0%, but just know that when you're working on a project, you can set the transparency of this image. Okay, let's do this uh, front view now. Options, configure, back tab is enabled. Navigate to the uh, front, and there she is. Right side, I, I named mine, I, I forget what I named my image. Options, configure, navigate by clicking the ellipsis dot, and uh, side. That's what I call it, side. Okay. All right, so are we done? Nope. Because like we don't know if these are positioned properly or if they're sized correctly or anything else. So we got to double check this. And you might have to watch this video a couple times if you... Uh, don't really get this but so make a cube and if I zoom in here on the right uh, view you can see the amber cube has appeared so I'm going to grab the um, handle for the z-axis and pull it and, and get the length of this thing so the amber uh, boundary the cube is indicating the length of my car all right so now if I go over to my top view now we see something is horribly wrong okay because um, let me see if I can so like I'm grabbing I'm in the right view and I'll grab the amber handle and I'll shorten this and we can see like the I'm adjusting the length I'm adjusting the cube along the length of the car in the right view. But in the top view, it's adjusting the width. So something is horribly wrong here. This image is pointed the wrong way. So let's go up to here to the this viewport and I'll just click on the viewport and click options and configure again. I just disabled my cube by mistake. Let me enable the cube options configure okay so this has to turn this image has to turn 90 degrees so 
the um, we have offset x y which we'll talk about here's rotation so it has to turn 90 degrees right and I'm gonna intentionally make a mistake as a teaching moment here so I'm gonna change that to 90 rotation 90 hit return and now if I look up here in the uh, top view it's like oh okay that's cool okay because now whenever I I'll adjust the um, cube in my right view so it, it's it's perfectly you know following the the length of this car and I look up here it's pretty close it's a little teeny tiny bit off but you know so like I got I got it going right right that's at least that's what I'm thinking but let's look carefully at this in the top view and there's other ways you could verify this but the um, Remember that in Cinema 4D world, the Z axis points to the back of the world, okay? The Z axis points, by default, will point to the back of the object or to the back of the world, you know, back to the horizon, whatever you want to call it. So, blue arrow points to the back. If I look carefully at my um, image here, this is the front of the car and I got my it's pointing towards the back so that's not good so I gotta like figure something out here so again um, in this view I gotta rotate this guy all the way around so options configure it's at 90 degrees so you might think well I'll just uh, flip it over by 180 and again I'm doing this just to demonstrate so okay, I'm gonna rotate 180 degrees whoops what the heck happened well that 180 degrees um, it's going by like what how the image originally came in originally the image was the front was over here and when I typed in 180 degrees I put the front over here so you just gotta kinda mess around so actually it's it's minus 90 now life is good okay so here's the blue arrow pointing to the back of the car yay and the um, the size of this is, is pretty good. Now let's look at the width, uh, or the length, I mean the length, I got the length figured out. Um, let's be like really anal retentive here. If I look at this, let me make sure, let me just zoom in here. Well, actually that turned out pretty good. All right. I'm, usually it doesn't come out that perfect. Okay. Let's, let's figure out the width now. So I'm going to grab the uh, handle on the x-axis up here and move my cube so now it's perfectly the car is perfectly fitting within this cube in length and width up here look down here uh, something is again horribly wrong we got this teeny tiny cube so if I try to adjust the width down here and get it to fit it's you know something is wrong okay so this image for the front is too huge so let me so I got the, got the width okay there okay so let's come into the front view and how am I gonna resolve this well I can smush down the image I can make it smaller options configure <clears throat> now it's too big in the Y so come over here. So I'm going to like decrease the, or sorry, excuse me. I, X is one. It's too. This image is too wide along the x-axis. Let me come over here. Uh, so I'm going to reduce the the size x. I get this keep aspect ratio checked, which is good because I want to. I don't want to like distort it. So I can just hit the uh, down arrows over here and it'll reduce and since I have keep aspect ratio enabled um, it'll uh, keep everything in proportion okay so now let me get it down here now if I zoom in so it, again there's it's a little bit odd see like there's too much space here so this image is not centered correctly so I have to come over here it's got to move this away to the right so in the positive x direction 
So I'm going to increase this offset X until the thing you want to look for is the uh, get this axis like basically in the center of the image. And that looks pretty good. And then let's um, double check the height of this thing. For this, if I was modeling this, I would not include the tires in the first model, but for this demo, I'm going to put the um, amber image on the top of the roof and at the bottom of the tires. And that turned out really nice. Okay, so let's go over here. And this, the bottom of the tires looks good. So this guy, we have to reduce. Oh, I don't know what I want to do here. Um, this one, I got to move that up a little bit. What I'm going to do is see the the top of the roof isn't is going just a little bit beyond the cube, so it has to move down a little bit. So I'm going to go to options, configure, and the offset Y. It's got to come down. It's got to go a negative value. I hit the wrong button there. Okay. Um, Then over here, let's see, it's just, let me move this down a little bit. And that looks pretty good now. Um, I could fiddle with this more. This, this, I could bring this down and bring this up or whatever. But anyway, what you got to do is make sure, you got to use a, use a cube to make sure that, um, everything is pointing in the right direction and that everything is sized correctly uh, you know with your blueprints